Kroger Field is all set. Just wait for those true blue fans to pour into the parking lots over the next couple of hours. Of course, today is the first uh, home game for the Cats. And as we're looking now, skies are mainly clear over Lexington. This is our BCTC UK campus. Kentucky One Health weather bug camera, of course, will be monitoring the situation there at Kroger Field as we continue throughout the day. Of course, a big day here in Lexington. Now, speaking of that Cats forecast, you're going to be heading out early to tailgate. Parking lots open around 8 o'clock this morning. A little bit cool as we're starting off the day in the low 50s across the board. But with some sunshine, we'll slowly begin to warm our way closer to 70 degrees by kickoff. We will hold on to mostly sunny skies throughout the day. The breeze will be light. And even by the end of the game, temperatures sitting just in the low 70s. It's certainly a perfect fall day for the Cats home opener against EKU later on today. Now, of course, still the big story is the three storms that we are tracking across the tropics. Katia now down to a tropical storms that may landfall near the Bay of Campeche overnight. Of course, we have Irma. We'll talk more about that in just one second. And following then shortly behind is Jose, which is still going to pose a threat to the Leeward Islands, but then will be hooking out to sea and could be impacting, though, Bermuda in the coming days. Meanwhile, Irma it has slightly weakened, now down to a Category 4 hurricane. It was sitting at a powerful Cat 5 as it made yet another landfall across the northern portions of Cuba late last night. So still churning across uh, the northern portions of Cuba, again sitting at a Category 4 with maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour. And at this point, a U.S. landfall somewhere across South Florida is all but certain. Hurricane warnings and watches are already out. So from about Orlando and Tampa southward, there are hurricane warnings out. Meanwhile, around Jacksonville, even up towards Tallahassee into the Panhandle, we have hurricane watches out. Also into the Bahamas, hurricane warnings out at this point this morning. So the Storm's path continues to take its skirting across Cuba throughout the day today before it then takes a more northerly track towards the Keys. And of course, those islands not too far above sea level, so they could be dealing with some devastating flooding there. The storm now expected to make landfall as a Category 4 hurricane, whether it's a Cat 4 or a Cat 5. Still, catastrophic damage will be possible. The track then for the National Hurricane Center takes it up towards Tampa, running really the length of the Florida Peninsula as a Category 3 before working its way into Georgia and eventually will dissipate into a tropical storm somewhere just to the south of Atlanta. But still, they could be dealing with some heavy rain and damaging winds across South Florida and even or, uh, Georgia, South Georgia, I should say. Then eventually the storm through the middle stages of the week will begin to work its way into Tennessee. And we even could be seeing some of the impacts from the remnants of Irma starting on Tuesday in the form of some rain and even gusty winds here across the bluegrass. But in the meantime, it's going to be a great weekend for us, a perfect day for football today with pleasant uh, conditions, mostly sunny skies into the afternoon, 73 for a high temperature. Tonight, we're back down into the low 50s under clear skies. Some valley fog will develop late. Tomorrow, more of the same. We'll maybe tack on a few more degrees with mostly sunny skies. We're still dry into Patriots Day on Monday. We'll gradually begin to see increasing clouds, though, as the remnants of Irma begin to inch ever so closer. We'll include now then some showers uh, as we look towards Tuesday and Wednesday, even lingering into Thursday as well. High temperatures will only reach the upper 60s to low 70s while we're tracking the rain. But then we start to warm things back up with temperatures back in into the mid to upper 70s through the start of next weekend. Stephen Clare.